Hello everyone, it is Mindy and welcome to my channel. So today, what do we have for you? We have a completion review of uh, my recent completion. This is from Francesca Studio Works. It was, I started it in April. We did an event, <clears throat> Francesca's Spring Fling, and we had a great time. We had several participants in that and we gave away prizes. We had a sponsor and the company gave away some paintings and it was just a good time. Um, I had the retreat in there. I had some other things going on. It, so it's taken me oh, about six weeks to finish this. Anyhow, it is done. And isn't it cute? Oh my goodness, this turned out so, so good. It was a, a lot of fun to work on, a lot of fun. You had all these little different segments to work on. Like you could work on this whole square of this blanket right here. And it was like three or four different colors. And then these two squares, you could work on those at the same time. And they were the same colors. It was just fun to do. So you had lots of little sections, little lines, the yarn. Oh, yarn is interesting to diamond paint. Let me tell you what. Um, because like here you get like more speckled. Here we had three and four of different colors in a row. I mean, it was just, it was something. So it was fun to watch it come to life. There's several ABs in this. Um, there's AB in like this strand here. There's some AB in this block. Uh, some of the mice get ABs like in their ears. He's got like ABs on his booty butt there. <laughs> there's some ABs in the feet of the kitties, their ears. So there's ABs kind of like splashed throughout. ABs in this yarn and this yarn and this yarn. Um, AB in the basket here, the yarns in the basket. ABs in the hat too. There's blue and a white AB in there. It was just a lot of fun to work on. Um, I just want to note that I found my llama. I'd lost my llama and I was so upset about losing my little llama or alpaca. He might be an alpaca. I don't know. But I found him. Silly thing had fallen off the edge of my table and it attached itself to the leg of the table. Who would have thought to look on the leg of the table? I Anyhow, I found him. I cherish him. He's so sweet. He's from Saban my dear friend Saban, and I just love him. He's so cute. All right. So, I mean, how many ABs were there in this? I think there were like eight. Yep. Because number eight was the white. There was blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, a uh, very pale blue. There was a couple different blues. It was just a blast to work on. So the ABs kind of pop out in many different places. This yarn gets some AB. Like I said, his booties AB. <laughs> Um, there's AB in the strand of yarn that's kind of running across the room here. It's so pretty. I'll take you on a close up tour when, uh, the time comes, but I, I took this to the retreat and I had a lot of people looking at it and asking me questions about it. And then I took it to our monthly meetup, a uh, local meetup that we do. Um, and I've had people look at me. I had one person say, are those the drills that came with the painting? And I was like, yeah, why? And she was like, well, they're just so bright and sparkly. And I said, yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. They are super bright, sparkly drills. I don't, I mean, look at this thing, you guys. It's just like, ooh, it's fantastic. I love the little sign up here. I'll show you the little sign. That turned out super cute. For you and the letters are in yellow AB and there's some white over there. I will, like I said, I will take you on a, a flyover of the whole thing and just kind of let you see things close up, but it is adorable and it is finished. <laughs> so I made a little tiny video to go in my, uh, my crafty vlog and I was finishing this up last night. I had a goal. I was finishing this by the 15th and I did it. I did it. I finished on the 15th. Um, and as I was finishing, I was finishing right here, which was really funny because when I unboxed this, I called that a bucket because I thought it looked like a bucket. Like if you turn it the other way, I mean, look at it. Doesn't that look like 
well, it kind of looks like a bucket. It looks like a bucket or a pail. And I thought it was something that was in the room, like they were storing yarn in it or something. The owner was like, um, it's a hat. Mindy, it's a hat. And I'm like, oh, a hat? Yeah, on a pedestal. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's a hat. All right. <laughs> but um, it's, uh, it's just ironic that that is where I finished, right there in the center of the hat right there. Isn't that funny? Anyhow, it is super cute. It is called, in case I haven't told you, while kittens are away, mice will play. And I never get that right. I'm always calling it kittens play mice or I, I, I always get it wrong. Anyhow, Jenny Newland. And it was um, 75 by 55 and a half. It's bigger than I thought it was. Like when I got it out to start working on it, I didn't remember it being quite this large, but it is a good size. Um, of course, all the information is down here at the bottom. Uh, Francesca's at the top. We got our two legends, all that stuff. I'll link the unboxing video up there so you can see me unbox it and call that a bucket. <laughs> Anyhow, um, this is how I kitted up my drills. Let me show you. I used my Craftmates lockables. I love my Craftmates lockables. So what I would do is, you know, I use release papers. And so I would put release papers down on the bottom row and then just take off one at a time and do that little section right there. So I would just start, I just pull out a sleeve. They're all upside down. So sorry. I would just pull out a sleeve. I would just start. I'd pull out a sleeve, not necessarily this sleeve because that's all ABs, but I would just pull out a sleeve and I would just work on all the colors that were in that sleeve in that section. And I'd go through each sleeve until the section was done. Worked for me. Um, I didn't have to make a lot of choices and decisions about which colors to pick or anything like that. I just go sleeve by sleeve and finish it. Now, they did not all fit in here. Let me just say that. Um, I also used this little container here for the rest of them. So the rest of them were kitted up in here. So it was fun. I, I ran out of nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, there were a few that I was getting a little concerned about, but I had plenty for everything. Like, some of these blues. See, but there's still plenty in there. There really is still plenty left. So I did not run out of anything. Um, as a matter of fact, <clears throat> I had a whole bag of 310s left over. I had almost a whole bag of 823 left over, but I did have to open it at the end for a few. So there was almost a complete bag of 823s left over as well. All right. So that's how I kitted up. That's how the drills went down. That's what I got left over. Like I said, even the ABs, I have ABs left over, quite a few. So no worries about running out of things. That little pink down there, almost. But anyhow, so let's talk trash for a second. Let's talk, well, I already talked about the drill quality. Um, these drills are sparkly. They are fantastic. And these fit together. Oh my goodness, do they fit together. Let me bring it up really close and show you. Look at just this section right here. Look at how those fit, right? They fit like perfectly, perfectly. Now, I will say the one time, the one place, the one situation where I would have a little difficulty getting these to fit correctly is in the sections that had black. Like this whole section right here, this is all black and it was a little tricky. Some of the sections that had a lot of black were a little tricky and I'll tell you why. Because black drills, oh my goodness, what is the deal with black drills? Why can't the manufacturers make the black drills better? Those are the only ones I had like any major problem with were black. And because the drills, the black drills, are not great, um, it was difficult to multiplace some of those because we got drills that are different sizes. I've got wax in here too, so you'll just have to pardon the wax. But here is my trash for the entire kit. And if you look at it very closely, you will notice a lot of it is black. 
black tabs, drills that were too big, just all kinds of things weird with the black. Now, there is trash in other colors as well. I mean, we get some of these that are stuck together, you know, end to end like that. I didn't have any that were stuck back to back, but I did have endo endo ones, you know. Then you get your just random pieces of plastic in here like this guy. It's all stuck together with a glue dot, by the way. <laughs> you know, a random, random little thing there, little round pieces. So there were quite a few that were stuck together end to end, you know, like this, like, like this one. Oh, that's a B too. But the blacks, I will be so happy if someone at some point can make black drills that are as good as the rest of the drills. I don't understand it. So I'm just saying it did make multi-placing in some of the large areas. Like I feel one that's kind of raised right there and I have poked and I've rolled and I've done everything. Um, makes multi-placing with them a little difficult because they all have to be perfect to multi-place and to fit, especially when you have a grid that is this tight and your drills fit together so nicely, you get one that's just a little bit bigger than the others and you're, you're off kilter. Anyhow, that's the trash situation. Thought I would show you that. Um, you judge for yourself. Is that too much trash? Yeah, I don't think so. There's a little bit in most of the colors, um, but not a ton in the all the colors. And some had no trash at all. It's just, I'm going to just harp on the black situation. So anyhow, well, that is it, folks. I enjoyed it. I had a great time working on it. Everybody who has seen this, places that I've taken it are just like, that is so cute. I know a couple people bought it because they saw mine. <laughs> you know, it is lovely. And like I said, you, you can't ask for shinier drills or drills that fit together better than this. They fit perfectly. Perfect. Not a gap. Nothing. None of these were tight. They snap. They just snap right into place when you're filling in your gap, your holes. You know what I mean? Um, it's lovely. So I have nothing but good things to say. This is the second Francesca's Studio Works I have completed. Um, I did unbox and show you all of them when they first premiered all of their kits. And I've loved it from the unboxings. Everything is premium, wonderful, fantastic quality. And now I can speak to a round and a square because I have done a round and a square. And both of them have been exactly what I would have expected from this company. They're wonderful. Just wonderful. All right. Let me take you for the pan over and let you get some close-up views of just how cute and pretty and nice and sparkly and everything this canvas has to offer. And I thank you for watching. And please check out Francesca's Studio Works. Um, they have kits in stock still, They, you know, and I believe they're working on a new order. So let's look forward to that. You know, it'll take a while. Um, those orders do take time, but let's look forward to it. Um, and in the meantime, go check out their site and see what you, see what you like. I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, they're doing a first time purchaser like discount right now. If I find that information, I will link it below. All right. So I believe that's for first time purchasers. There's, there might still be a little a percentage off for you. Um, so there you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. And um, hit that like button, subscribe button, and all those things. Come back and see more videos. And um, have a great day. Get ready to see some beauty. I'll talk to you later. Bye.